and Elsie had her skipper. And she hardly ate her breakfast of bread and butter or her dinner of bread and butter because she was so busy skipping rope. And when the other little girls came home from school, they were amazed because there was Elsie Pinnock skipping rope. And Andy Spandy Sugar and candy, French almond broth, bread and butter for your supper, that's all in Mama's cup. Whoa! Whoa! That does deserve applause. I would say so. Whoa! said Joan Challen because she was the champion skipper and she never saw anyone skip like that. Mama, come out! And all the mamas came out from the kitchen and that was the time when they dried their hands on their aprons and they looked out into the lane and they said, Elsie Pittock's a born skipper, she can skip as never so. And when she was five years old, Elsie Pittock could outskip every girl in Glind. No one could skip as fast or as long as Elsie. Not even Joan Challen, the champion skipper. When she was six years old, she could outskip every girl in England. And when she was seven, well, that was what happened. The fairies heard about her. Did you know the fairies are very fond of skipping rope? Yes, they love to skip rope. They have a skipping master whose name is Andy Spandy. And every time when the moon is new, he takes them to the top of Mount Caburn where they skip in the new moon. Now these secret skips that he teaches them are in the high skip song which goes like this. The high skip, the sly skip, the skip like a feather. The long skip, the strong skip, the skip all together. The slow skip, the toe skip, the skip double, double. The fast skip, the last skip, the skip. Against trouble.